Ray diagrams for plane mirrors. Materials. To do the activity you will need the following materials, pens, protractor, and ruler. Procedure. Draw a plane mirror in an object, and in front of the mirror. Draw an incident ray from the object. Draw the reflected ray. Extend the reflected ray behind the mirror. Draw the second incident ray. Draw a normal line to determine accurately the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection. Using a protractor, measure the angle of incidence. The angle of incidence is the angle between the normal line and the incident ray. To draw the reflected ray, measure the angle of reflection. The angle of incidence is equal to the angle of reflection. The angle of reflection is the angle between the normal line and the reflected ray. Always indicate the arrow to denote the direction of the light ray. Extend the reflected ray. Draw incident ray from the lower point of the object. Draw the reflected ray. Extend the reflected ray. Draw the second incident ray. Draw the normal line. Draw the reflected ray. Make sure that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. Extend the reflected ray. Draw incident ray from the second top point of the object. Draw the normal line and the reflected ray. Make sure that the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. Extend the reflected ray. Draw the second incident ray. Draw the normal line and the reflected ray. Extend the reflected ray. Draw incident ray from the second lower point of the object. Draw the normal line and the reflected ray. Extend the reflected ray. Draw the second incident ray. Draw the normal line and the reflected ray. Extend the reflected ray. Locate the points where the reflected rays meet. These points indicate the location of the image of the object. Draw the image of the object. Describe the image in terms of the location, orientation, size, and type of the image. The image is located behind the mirror or located at the back of the mirror. The orientation is upright or same orientation as the object. Size is the same size as the object. And virtual because all the reflected lights are extended to form the image behind the mirror. Aside from these descriptions the image formed in a plane mirror is in lateral inversion. It means that the left part of the object become the right part of the image. While the right part of the object become the left part of the image. The centermost part of image the remains the same as in the object. The left right reversal happens because the word is being inverted or flipped from front to back direction. If you find this video useful, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.